you know, when truth comes to light and we learn what people have done to us in the night that wasn't their right, it's very possible that even President Biden could be decked by me. You see, we have a right to our life, and we have a right to the things that we do in our life, we have the right to the content that we create for our life, and we have the right to do things that is, well, by our might. But when someone else comes into our life without any permission, without any conditions, and without any consent, we really get upset by this. We really don't like when people try to take over our life. And yesterday I made some comments about the three people who tried to play up to me to do things to me and were so personally offended by my response that they often walked off in indignant. You see, people tried to pay for food for me. And my attitude is not one of humility in their mind, but their attitude is one of power. You see, at no time did they ask me what I was hungry for. At no time did they ask me what I eat, but what they probably did was ask an employee of a place I shop, what does he eat? And then they went around the store thinking they were providing for me <clears throat> one of those Christmas gifts that's a surprise, and it's not. Because I cannot can contain and I cannot maintain any food overnight because of the people who lie, steal, and cheat me out of my rights to my food. At the same time, my cellular health changes every single day, and I live by the Lord's way. I choose my food every single day with the Lord's help. And just like you, I choose my own food. Now, you may not choose your food like I do as a pagan. You may not use your wit and wisdom as I do. But what I choose to do is practice my faith, Bob, and that's a term I coined, not you. It's an old-fashioned pendulum called dousing. And if you don't know how to douse, look it up, motherfucker. But if you can't get your fob to work, if you can't get your pendulum to perk, that's not on me, that's on you. But if it doesn't do the right thing for you, that's because you're lying to yourself about your desire to power it. And you can't power a pendulum. You can get it to do things because we have the ability to mind our angels and our angels say, okay, you know what, Smith, we'll just do it your way and see how it goes. So go ahead and lie to yourself about what it is and isn't you, but the best way to practice a faith fob is to submit everything to God and say, Okay, God, I am in your hands, I trust in you, and I'm going to let you guide me and lead me to the, well, let's just say the promised land. And sometimes God leads us through poverty to show us not what we're missing out on, but what we need to help them to improve upon. And other times he leads us through uh, transition because we didn't lose our rights, we gave them up to someone. But openly love does that. And when we lose love in our life, when we lose friends in our life, when we lose friendship in our life that God planned for us, it has an impact. It changes us. But when people descend to harm us in those moments of, well, not indifference, just busyness of mind, they really screwed their life before the Lord. And that's just unkind. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about God's house. And most people are familiar with the Ten Commandments, so if you have any questions about what you should be doing on any version or any denomination of your faith, please begin there. And then next, please go visit the Beatitudes because those pretty much tell you what you should care about. And a lot of people just don't care. But in this world of paganism, in my federation, I have the right to my intellectual content that comes directly channeled from God. And I don't really give a fuck what you think of it, you mental health bastard. The more records you create on me, the more I have the right to sue you and take your fucking house with my mortgage friends who knows how to dig in deep and take in put their heels in and find every little fucking pocket hole that we can take your house so that you'll know what the fuck paganism is, not at all, that you'll know what poverty is, that you chose poverty of mind, you chose poverty of responsibility, and you chose to harm people like me.